would break my heart to know that old age lumber would be used to build our house. That lumber would come from trees like these, beautiful old mature beauties. Today they're alternate choices and that's called engineered lumber. I'm here at the Greenwich, Connecticut project. Let's talk lumber with Craig Smith from Truss Joyce Warehouser. Craig, a lot of timber strand surrounds us here. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, uh, timber strand is a very green product. Uh, the, we make the product from fast growing trees. We don't use any old growth forests in any of the processes. Love that. A lot of yellow poplar, aspen, southern yellow pine, trees that regenerate themselves are very fast growing trees. We take those trees and we strand them into strands that are approximately about a foot long and wafer thin. And then we orient them the same direction in, in a press, coat them with adhesive. From there, we make a, a large billet where we're able to cut a lot of different sizes, like the two by six that you see here, beam products, rim board, uh, all those products come from timber strand. And what does LSL stand for? LSL stands for laminated strand lumber. So that's that strand you were discussing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Off gassing in the glue, anything or? The adhesives. The adhesives that we use once they're cured, they're totally inert. So there's no harmful off-gassing at all. They're, they're cured before they leave the plant. Mm -hmm. uh, the adhesives also, the interesting fact, is that they're thermal setting. So in the case of a fire, the adhesives don't melt. They actually get uh, harder and stronger. That's really important. Love that point. Craig, I walked you over here because I'd like to hear from you what the differences are between traditional 2x12 and eye joists. Yes, you've got a lot of eye joists on this project. Yeah, um, I love them. <laughs> they're, they're very consistent in strength. You can get really, really long links, so you can clear span over walls and beams, that, that sort of thing. Which we've um, done. Yep. What's the big difference, though, between an eye joist and dimensional lumber? As you can see with the dimensional lumber, there's a lot of knots. Yes. Uh, also, you don't know the moisture content of dimensional lumber when you get it, so some may shrink, some may not. You get a real inconsistent floor, and with that inconsistent floor, you get squeaks. And nobody wants a squeaky floor when you're moving into a house. Especially um, when it's a new house. Yeah, especially when it's, when it's a perfect. new house. <laughs> I Joyce, you don't get that. It's consistent. When it comes out of the out of the mill, it's dried to a certain percentage. They're all the same. They all stay the same. So you don't get that squeaks. And what are these little punch holes I see here? Um, we put these punch holes in mainly for wiring, so you can knock those out. They're an inch and a half round hole. Um, the other advantage is you could put some really big holes in I Joyce, uh, depending on the span and the loading and and we do have literature that tells you, you know, what you can do with them, mm -hmm. but you can put some real big holes for HVAC, uh, drain pipes, that sort of thing, and that's an advantage, something you can't do with a 2x12. That's why my subs just love your product. Yep. It's available also in real long lengths, like our timber strand product also. Mm -hmm. uh, the neat thing with the timber strand, it's a great product for uh, tall walls, um, any type of kitchen walls, bathroom walls, anywhere where you need a perfect straight wall. I mean, that's the real I mean, advantage. You know, <laughs> yes, and it, you know, when you're building a house like this, you're probably going to have some real neat moldings in here. Yes. Tall wall, the, the timber strand framing is a great product for that because it doesn't warp or twist after the fact. It always seems like, to come down to that quarter inch somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, and that's got to do with the moisture that you find in regular studs. You may build a house and it may look nice and straight, but when things dry out, you can they twist and buckle and do things like that. So all your engineered wood products are very stable and will stay that way. Timber strand engineered lumber is the environmentally responsible way to use wood. It's also structurally stronger, it's tested, and it's stable. Your walls are going to be straighter and stronger. <laughs>